leads to the uh, needy and the unfortunate, but it will also give a boost to the biotechnology industry, and which would spur secondary research, and then uh, reducing, furthermore, to reducing the burden on the uh, me on medical care for the society as well as, as the state. Uh, embryonic cell research is continuing in countries like South Korea and Thailand, and uh, the lead that these countries might uh, obtain would create a medical imbalance. And if the lead is taken by an unstable or a totalitarian state, they might misuse it uh, in the field of eugenics. <coughs> and these are some of the cures that can be found uh, through the stem cells, uh, embryonic stem cells research, and not adult stem cells. I want you to concentrate on this embryonic stem cells. Because there's a scientific uh, area to it, and that is basically that embryonic stem cells are basically fresh. And there are some of the codes that are surrounding these cells uh, in, in the blastocyst, which covers uh, the, the inside of the cell, uh, which covers the stem cells and protects it. And these lines can be studied uh, more deeply inside an embryo than in, a, in an adult cell, full-grown adult cell. Uh, these are the diseases shown here: Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, Huntington's, diabetes, spinal cord injuries can be cured, skin tissues for burn victims, damage arteries and hearts and grown up body parts, can, grow, can we can uh, grow uh, body parts uh, for transplants. The argument against the stem cell research are that the potentiality of the embryo is also important uh, considering the, uh, we're discussing uh, the moral status of the embryo. Uh, while embryos are not yet considered person, they are part of human family. And that, if not interfered with, they can become a human to develop into a, a person uh, which can walk like an normal, like in everyday life, etc. Opponents say that the creation of embryos specifically for research is represents disrespect to human life. And uh, because uh, creating these embryos, which are never intended for implantation or for growth, uh, treats them as merely just a means to an end. They also dismiss the creation of embryos specific, specifically for research uh, as premature. Because if we still have these uh, more ethical and uh, more ethical ways to uh, gain stem cells and research on them through adult stem cells, then why should we use these, uh, kill, uh, why, why should you, we use the methods for killing uh, embryos to uh, gain the stem cells? The Nuremberg and Helsinki declarations were drafted in order to protect humans from the horrors of uh, experimentation and beside by the Nazi eugenicists. And uh, the same duty is owed to pre-human subjects, in this case of the human embryo research. Others fear that allowing the use of therapeutic cloning uh, to create embryos for research would set science on a slippery slope towards uh, reproductive cloning. And opponents also argue that paying uh, women for egg donations would lead to commercialization of uh, the human body by uh, planting a monetary, uh, monetary, uh, what do you call, monetary value on the body parts, basically. Furthermore, there are fears that paying women for their eggs would lead to, uh, uh, would risk involved in uh, removing the embryo uh, for, for just like, uh, for economically disadvantaged. We will, they will be, some of the economically disadvantaged people would be uh, persuaded uh, forcefully or they, they might be asked that they, they, they can be paid through uh, don you know, donating these eggs for, for basically women, which we are talking about here. The mass production of embryos using uh, different donors in a laboratory is like fought with the uh, Frankenstein in the, the repercussions, which human race might not be able to control. In conclusion, I believe that any individual cause or case of uh, ter ter some terminal suffering is very traumatic. And it is certainly possible, though by no means certain, that stem cell research will one day elevate or abolish any of these uh, causes of suffering. For example, Parkinson's disease. I do not think that anyone who has, uh, uh, who has witnessed someone die through this uh, cause, condition, would doubt for an instant that it can be cured and it ought to be. I welcome, uh, I welcome the stem cell research if it can do what, it, can, what is, uh, it is being said to do. Therefore, stem cell research made possible by cloning ought to be allowed, but reproductive cloning ought not to be allowed. Uh, the ethical objections to this, however, is that embryo is a human being as soon as the ovum divided into two, two or uh, more than two cells. Uh, then it then becomes in soul. That is what most people claim. However, for myself, I cannot truly consider an embryo to be a full member of the human race. I cannot mourn for its loss as I, as I would mourn for a six-year-old baby's death. Uh, I, I will not feel the same uh, outrage as at its deliberately demi uh, induced demise. Uh, 
and for an, as for an old lady who has been beaten to death in her household. Uh, remember, science has sacrificed many lives over the uh, decades, and, uh, uh, ha and that, that has saved humanity, in, uh, on the other hand. And it is any day more moral than the wars that have been fought and taken, which have been taking more, millions of innocent lives, and against whom we cannot do anything, and we are helpless, basically. So I think the call is ours to make. Thank you.